What is up, YouTube? I'm in Whistler, BC. Just made a day trip from where I live so that I could come skate the skate park. I thought it'd be a good idea to do a little Joe's Declassified Beginner Girl Skate Guide. Beginner Girl Skate Guide. Survival Guide. Joe's Declassified Beginner Skater Girl Survival Guide. If you want to know my tips and tricks to really getting into it and what you need to start skating and the mindset that you need to have and the things that you shouldn't care about. If you want to know those things, keep on watching. Enjoy the video. slow at moving too because obviously you have to move slow when you first start but who cares if you're slow at learning you're having fun you're learning a new skill everyone starts somewhere who cares <laughs> Out water. If I had a dollar for every time 
I stopped skating earlier than I wanted to because I had no access to water. I would have like five dollars. But five times, that's like five hours of skateboarding that could have been done but wasn't done because I didn't have water and I was dying. Bring water. <laughs> will save you a lifetime of blood and hurt. But you will still go through blood and hurt because obviously they can't protect you from everything. Long socks, pants, all you need. skateboarding is so fun and like so rewarding because like every day you do something new pretty much and you're just like I'm awesome <laughs> if I hadn't have taken progress clips then I wouldn't have like realized how far I've come like I remember watching videos of people didn't shove it and I was like oh my gosh that is the most insane thing like I'm still trying to get my ollies down and whenever I see someone do a good ollie I'm like Whoa. But like even looking at my own tiny little ollie progression, I'm just like, I'm so good. <laughs> if you're learning a new trick or something, you really can't get it. Clips that you take of you trying will show you the things that you're doing wrong and the things that you need to work on for the trick. So it's like, if you don't have anyone to skate with, you can skate with yourself by watching yourself on video you know what i mean it helps like in every aspect it helps also it's like pretty cool to see you know do a little pop and shove it then you're like did you see that that was awesome <laughs> park at like 7 a.m. I feel like the only reason people are scared of skate parks or reasons that people are scared of skate parks is one they're scared of like the obstacles which is fair they're terrifying or two they're scared of the people but two little tidbits of information if you go in the morning no one's gonna be here. Like literally no one. 7 a.m. you think a skater boy is gonna be at the skate park? It's a safe place in the morning. You can go, feel judgment free, fall on your face, do whatever you need to do to learn, and bounce before anyone gets here. Once you start skating and once you start seeing people at the skate park all the time, you're gonna become friends with them. Like, you're gonna see people and be like, oh hey, how's it going? Or just like a head nod, that's what I like to give a little. Once you come for a while and you say hi to people a couple times, you'll find that the guys at the park are so encouraging. They want you to be better. They think it's so cool that more girls are getting into skateboarding. Like, it's like, the park is a safe place. It's all in your head. Are you ready? Listen, you don't have to fit into whatever you think that skaters are, or whatever you picture a skater to be in your head. You don't have to be that. There's girls that skate, 
in your very typical bangs, high-waisted mom jeans, baggy tee. I'm describing myself. And then there's other girls, girls that I know, who come to skate park in dresses and shred and it's just like, slow clap for your authenticity and your boldness in being yourself because Anyways, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you for 1,000 subscribers. I think I'm at like a, I think I'm almost at 1,200 subscribers. So that's pretty sweet. If you liked the video, uh, if you like the video personally, like the video, you know? Sometimes we forget. Give me some tips. I feel very stagnant in my skating recently. So like, if y'all wanna help me out, see anything I'm doing in the video that's so wrong, let me know. And subscribe to see more of my lovely face and hear more of my big brain and see more of my great skating. <laughs> Peace out, folks.